is going on, everybody? Welcome back to A Certain Point of View and our very first edition of a brand new show here on POV. It is called POV Watches. Very simple, very self-explanatory, but I am going to explain what this show is all about. Of course, as movie fans, we have um, there's there's a plethora of titles of movies that we have never seen before, whether they're new movies, whether they're old movies. Um, so why not give us an opportunity to watch those movies and talk about it? Very easy, very simple. Uh, for the sake of this video, being that it is our first one, very much a test run to see how we feel about this, how the conversation is going to go, and that it's a brand new movie that just came out that the four of us have seen for the very first time. Most of the time, you will see one of us or two of us watch a movie from years past, decades ago, last year, five years ago, and then we're going to discuss it based on the people who have seen it and the people who have not seen it. So um, you might see a little switch after this video, but... We're going to have fun talking about Saltburn, the movie that has taken over the internet. Uh, Saltburn, um, starring, starring Jacob Elordi and Barry Keegan. Uh, it is a small time indie film that a lot of people got to see on Prime Video. Uh, it was in theaters for a very short amount of time, and it is taken over the world for certain reasons. And we're going to dive into it with our thoughts, uh, discuss some of the plot points, maybe character choices um and see what we think of this movie and just for everybody watching we have barely talked about this movie together we have not mm -hmm. mentioned much in our group chat for this reason so these are all going to be real reactions on discussing this movie um i'm going to let brian discuss this movie first with his reaction being that he was the first one to watch it he was the first one to kind of advocate for it in our group chat oh. um so brian just you know quick little sum up of your reaction uh, kind of how you came across the movie. Were you excited? Was it kind of an afterthought? Where did you land with this? Also, potential spoiler warnings. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, for sure. hundred percent spoiler warning. A hundred percent spoiler warning. Yes. Uh, not that anyone hasn't seen this movie anymore. Um, except for maybe my mom, because I refuse to let her watch it. Uh, I... She would. She deserves to see that movie. Probably have a heart. Like, no, no joke, have a heart. Well, don't watch it with her. No, I'm not watching. Absolutely not. <laughs> she would literally call me up and just berate me. Why would you ever make me watch? It? Anyways, um, so I think my interest peaked from the commercials and the catchy song, um, and then I thought it was a gay movie. So obviously that pulled me in, and then went and saw it by myself. Uh, when it became available in Sacramento, which was like I think a couple weeks after the like like limited release or something, I don't know. It took a little bit of time to get to see it. Um, I went by myself, and I am a firm believer that people in the theater can influence your watch. Mm -hmm. Um, and I sat next to like had to have been some like 21 22 23 year old college girls and who were clearly there to just see jacob Elordi shirtless and stuff and so whenever anything any of those four scenes came on it was just i was crying laughing <laughs> at just how they were reacting and it just made me love the movie so much Plus the fact that I went into it one way and it was completely not what I thought it was. And that is my favorite type of thing is when you're like, oh, sweet, I'm going to go into this movie and think it's this. And then it just turns you on your head. Uh, I It was my favorite movie of the whole entire year last year. Just, oh, wow. because, just because I think I hit a perfect storm of just like – just the atmosphere, like hearing, there was a woman in the theater that was going like, huh, huh, like crying. <laughs> it, was, it was everything. And I think that's why I ended up loving it so much, just because it was just so batshit crazy and just nothing that I expected. And just the whole entire like experience is what made it so much fun. Um, yeah that i mean honestly i think the experience is what made the movie so 
like enticing mm-hmm. for was me. It, and, like, yeah. a, is this a five star movie for you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's definitely wow. it just because like, for me, it was just like any movie that by the like, by 90% of the way through it, I still don't know what's going on. And that 10 <laughs> seconds or 10% just hits you and you realize all the things. Those are my absolute favorite types of movies. Mm. nothing beats that to me when you think you have something the whole entire way and then you are just so absolutely wrong and those are my absolute favorite types of movies especially if you if it's not a um like already like a knives out or something where it's like you know it's a mystery Mm -hmm. or like a whodunit yes a whodunit so that's why I loved it so much on top of the experience and all that. So, yeah. Yeah. I I do wish I knew nothing about this going into it. I unfortunately did know some things about it, but it didn't really take it away for me. But I like, I would have preferred not knowing as much about it. All I knew going into it was that something with the bathtub, because I was, (laughs) I I had just beaten like the, it just everything on everything. So, I was just like, oh, okay, where's the bathtub? And every, anytime yeah. I'd walk, someone walk by, I'm like, oh shit, here it goes. What's happening? And it's like, no, that's just a bathtub. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. You mentioned the whole, uh, the 10%, like towards the end about, you don't know what's going on until the last however long of the movie. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I had issues with it. Oh, I see. Um, Good opposite. And I think, I, and we have again we haven't talked about it but i think out of the four of us i disliked it the most i could be wrong i i thought it was okay i thought yeah, it was fine. I, I think i think i'm in the same camp um i'm interested to hear your reasons jill but i i and there's nothing wrong with relying on the end of the movie to kind of reveal everything not at all but it felt like nothing happened whatsoever until the last 10 minutes of the movie like even after just, he showed up dead in the garden that that was I guess that was kind of the moment where it twisted but then once once he died spoiler once he died um the movie kind of just like ran to the ending for me for me it okay. felt like everything just like like hit sixth gear and we're at the ending within 10 minutes but it really was 20 minutes mm-hmm. um I just felt like the movie relied on that a little too much uh because it feels like even though we do have the bathtub scene, it feels like everyone is only talking about the ending. And that's just from my camp, from what I'm the seeing, wiener? what I'm hearing, what I'm reading uh, is just that everyone is talking about how the reveal happens rather than the stuff that happened prior. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think I had mentioned it when I watched it, but I think the performances are incredible. I think they do a really yeah. good job. Yeah. Uh, Barry Keegan was great. Jacob Elordi did good. I don't think he was given enough I, to do. I it, 100% agree he just he kind of just felt there. Didn't feel like it's clearly Barry Keegan's movie, which is is totally cool. Like it's I totally get it. Um him and Rosamund Pike. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Loved um, her. And yeah, I I just I don't think it it just doesn't feel it di- and I don't I don't know if this is crazy to say, but it didn't feel like a complete movie to me. I don't like disagree. It felt like there's the ending and then there's kind of everything else. I don't disagree. I don't disagree at all. Cause one of my, cause I, uh, I saw the ending coming from a mile away. I was not at all shocked by the ending. I think both of, I think Molly and Jill both put it in the chat as they were watching it. Mm-hmm. I know yeah. Molly. I was it. like, I don't trust this guy one bit. Yeah. I was not at all stuck, <laughs> shocked or stunned by the ending. I think for me and where I agree with Jake is that I didn't understand the motive and what was like, why did he go after that specific person? Like he saw him in a courtyard and somehow he knew that he was wealthy, rich and that he was going to go murder his whole family. Like, I don't understand the motive behind anything that he did. Like, didn't they say, I could be completely wrong. Didn't they say like someone, didn't his weird, creepy friend say like, "Oh, that's blah blah blah," and blah blah. blah. I but think like, he is supposed to be like a well-known 
name like Saltburn okay. a lot of people know about it and know that he's like a wealthy rich kid you could have you could if, have missed it because I was distracted by how yeah okay. if that I happened did, but... if that happened I did miss I did miss the like motive part I I will agree with okay that, that I yeah. missed that too but so maybe my movie literacy is not as great as it used to be but like it's better but like but then also it was like hey at least you going, watched a movie he's listen <laughs> like he's going around like he's in love with this guy and it's like okay that's cute like it's it's borderline a little bit kind of clingy stalkerish but like it's i get it and then like he ends up killing him and his entire family like Literally. for a house like Literally. for a house like you had a nice house with your family like i don't know i, I he got I, all the monies too well yeah but like it wasn't like he, he was got everything he got the or anything. That, that's like, that's yeah. what I, I guess that's what i'm curious about too is was it about like was was he just was he love killing people or did he do it he because he parasite. wanted the money? He was or did he? Yeah, sucky. but but like the well, parasite of what is just because he wanted? I would have liked to, if that was the case. I would have liked to hear earlier instances of him doing something like this to other people. Yeah, like, he was so innocent. Sense? He was so innocent up until the birthday party. Yeah, or I yeah. guess before with the sister. But like at that mm -hmm. point, well, with the sister, yeah, yeah, the sister right is uh, kind of like. Of course, but but you're led to believe that he is this total nerd that's being thrown into this universe, right? So good. Well, and then it okay. Just, yeah, I don't know. I I have I have just recently watched it again for the second time, I, and I will I say, like I oh, because Alex again. watched it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I will say watching it a second time. I really wanted to watch it a second time just to pay attention, having known everything that happens in the end. Now I was able to pay more attention to it, and like. The first moment that we see him lie on camera is like in the bar when he's with his his like first creepy oh, yeah. friend, and yeah. he comes Where back. He gets him to pay for the drinks. No, when he well, ditches his buddy. When he ditches oh. his first friend, and okay. he he looks at him. He's like standing right there, so the audience sees that he's there, and so the mm -hmm. audience sees him lie for the first time, and he does it like so easily that I was like, oh, okay, and Someone like did... that I'm sets sorry, you no. up for kind of wondering from that point on like what else could he be lying at about because that's mm -hmm. that's what kind of set it off for me i was like oh he might there might be something more to him that he's hiding yeah i'm an idiot i didn't ex suspect him until he started driving him to the house i was like <laughs> no. well, once that happened i was like oh <gasps> you didn't suspect oh anything like i just well, thought he was like being the, like the, didn't the bathtub scene happen before that I, yeah, but I I just took it as he was like obsessive with like Jacob Elordi's character, like just kind of like a like a pay no mind, just like just I have to be around them at all times. They're like mm -hmm. like I'm nothing without them type of thing. I didn't take it as he's killing them off so that mm -hmm. way he can take over the whole entire you... estate. There's another scene that really set things in motion for me is the the first time we see him alone with the mother and they're talking about what's the woman's name that was living there oh like the, the weirdo uh, gary Pamela. mulligan's character yeah Pamela was that her name yeah, yeah. I think Pamela, but... <laughs> where, where he mulligan. compliments the mom where yeah he he like suddenly changes his attitude and like says that the mom is like beautiful and then they start mm -hmm. kind of like talking they're about hearing. Pamela and you start to realize how easily he can manipulate people and how easily yeah. he can like creep into people's minds. That's, where, that's and, where I was like, there's something going on here. Yeah. I was like, Ooh, he is sinister in like a mysterious way. So yeah, I, I loved the movie. I did too. I, I, was... I wouldn't say five stars, maybe four stars because I gave I, him three. Immediately I wanted to watch it again. I, think I, I, gave, I need to rewatch it. I think I gave it a three too. I I will say the slurping of the, Ugh, the bath water oh, in the tub. We talk about the big disturbed me more than any saw Same. contraption of wow. any saw film. I literally cringed. I was like, Ugh. so the 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 <laughs> big like the big it scenes that all of TikTok seemed to be talking about the bathtub scene in the graveyard or the grave scene which the grave scene i was like eh, it's fine it went okay, on for so a long just time interesting point about that barry keegan improvised the graveyard scene yeah i saw that 
Yeah, he I made the it. choice to do that. I, I think that was that. that's a choice. It goes with the character. I mean, yeah. it, it goes with the character. Well, it goes yeah. with the character, especially after seeing the final scene. Yeah. 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 It was God. That's maybe I I just remember pure silence in the theater when he's like kneeling at the grave and like all of a sudden he just starts undressing and the people I, I just heard someone go. Oh no, what's he doing oh. now? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, oh, oh God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Borderline so necrophilia. <laughs> yeah. Just okay, so question. Um, and this, obviously, I know that Molly, you said that you learned a lot about this movie from TikTok because of those four scenes. And I, I don't think we mentioned this, but uh, Jill, myself, and Molly all saw it at home. We didn't get mm -hmm. to see it in the theater. So our experience was definitely different than Brian's. Question for the group. Is this movie only where it's at as far as popularity, likability, whatever, because of those scenes? Yes. Okay. Mm. But I think that I, is also what makes the movie. I think the actors that are in this carried this movie. 100%. Plenty. Like if there hadn't been any like OMG moments where people kept talking about it, I think the movie still would have been highly acclaimed. But I don't think as many people would have watched it had it yeah, not okay. been so controversial. Power of social media, for sure. The only, that's yeah, the only yeah. reason why I saw it, because everyone was oh, going, yeah. so I saw Saltburn, and I was like, pff, pff, what is this movie? Yeah. So that's the only why reason why I saw it. I understand that every single I tell, time I tell you to do something as far as, like, read this book, watch this movie. I'm <laughs> Do you know how often Sean right? tries to tell me to do stuff? And I don't. <laughs> 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 no. I see, but to me, like, I think that's part of the movie. Like, well, I mean, of course, the but... movie is legitly like those scenes are in there for. But because the, the internet made such a big deal oh, about those mm -hmm. scenes, yeah. If it, trust me, I'm a hundred percent on that. If this wasn't, if we, if this came out in the time of social media not existing, like. Word of mouth, it would not have spread like it did. It would just be yeah. like, oh, there's this crazy ass movie. I feel like this is. movie had the same effect that Malignant did. It became a word of mouth mm -hmm. cultural phenomenon. Either Started you love it, way. like you love it, or you are like not what? really <laughs> digging it. That's fair. I don't think they fair. had the. Nice. I don't think they had James Wan on Variety though, breaking down scenes of Malignant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though, that like critically, yeah, uh, yeah, like a lot of it's definitely more of a award winning film type of film. A, a lot of movie critics loved it for reasons other than shock factor. Mm -hmm. um, but the I loved it. I will say that. something about the bathtub scene, though, because like getting to see it a second time, I was like breaking it all down. And I was like, what does it mean? I agree with Jill. <laughs> The grossest part about that was when he licked the drain, and I was like, oh, 100%. like it, was it just disgusting. grossed me out. Not for disgusting. like weird sexual reasons, just like you're licking the drain of a bathtub, and mm -hmm. that's gross. But I was like trying to understand the scene in my mind and why he would do that. He's like really paying attention to everything in the house and kind of like sizing everything up realizing how like clean and pristine everything is and how like the you you don't see anyone cleaning the house except for like after the party but like the mirror is fixed without yeah. him seeing it his stuff is all put away without him noticing like these things just happen and and he's like oh yeah they they do that here so in my mind i'm like he knows that that bathtub is clean like someone mm. had just scrubbed it mm -hmm. so he gets in there knowing oh, that yeah. and is like and tongue punches the drain <laughs> yeah for me it was it was that the water was like milky and i was just like it was just <laughs> yeah i mean obviously he went in there yeah. with a with a purpose in mind but also <laughs> yeah. i was like this, this i was feels fine like him it, kind of like realizing that he he wants to devour everything about this place, this family. Mm -hmm. Literally. Yeah. 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 He literally devours a couple of things in this film. Yeah. 
it's the slurping for me. That it's the, it was the slurping for it's me. I was like, ah, it's slurp. not necessary. <laughs> nah. All right, final uh, final <laughs> thing to kind of wrap this up. Uh, I don't want to talk about the bathtub scene. That's thing. <laughs> <laughs> to me, way too much. Vampire scene was the worst for me. Oh, that's, that's an understandable. <laughs> I had a bigger I would, shock. Re- I had a bigger shock reaction to that scene. I was like, "Wow, we went there." When that happened, I went, "Yeah, some things make sense for me now." Like, cause I was just like, "That's not no." Oh uh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Um, period blood, gross. <laughs> I was just like, "Okay, there's a lot of it's men the, that would do that." It's the, like yeah. this. So <laughs> Um, all right. Well, fi- final uh, final thing to kind of wrap up our first episode of POV, POV Watches here. I'm going to pull a little bit of Audible. Uh, Brian knows what this is, but um, I would like each of us to either say see it or skip it for anybody who maybe who has not seen it. Uh, would you recommend them to watch it or would you recommend them not to watch it? And why? I don't think anyone's not seen it at this point. It doesn't matter. Not. Maybe there is someone out there. Did, who oh, did Gab- that's what I was going to ask. Did Gabby watch it? Yeah, she didn't like it. Oh, she didn't like it. No. <laughs> That's that scary. I'm see it just because I. I mean, it was just batshit crazy, and I enjoyed it. So, okay. but I'm see, I also am curious if what I would think if I watched it from home. Mm. I could have completely a different thing. So yeah, I haven't watched it since. So I'm okay. I'm see it, and I watched it from home both times. But I liked it enough to watch it again, and I really enjoyed trying to figure his character out. It was, like, really fun for me. And I don't think, like like you guys were saying, uh, you thought that it didn't feel like a complete movie. I didn't really get that. I, I kind of was wondering where things were going, and then as I started to figure stuff out, and then once we got to the point where he's kind of explaining everything and... I, I will say, I feel like they over explained a little bit and like it would have been interesting if they had left some of that stuff unsaid, mm-hmm. but I I still really liked it. Watch it. Mm-hmm. Jill? Yeah, I'm watch it. Just so go see it. Make up your own mind. See yeah, I'm, I'm the same, even though I terrify, I'm terrified for anybody who will watch it because of my <laughs> reaction. I, I will say... Every movie, even movies like this, deserve to be watched. So don't watch it with your family, though. Like, unless yeah, you're probably really don't watch close. it with your mom. Don't and... watch it in public. Don't watch it on a plane. Don't watch it. Just <laughs> no. watch it. Can in you the imagine dark. if this was a plane movie? Oh. And someone didn't know. I'm sure it's available to buy or something. I'm sure it is. Just watch it in a dark corner. A I would watch this nobody... on a plane. <laughs> Molly would 100 watch this on a plane. Um, oh, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on our very first episode of POV Watches. Again, this show. Uh, we will be talking about movies that we have never seen before. Um, it'll either be one of us or multiple of us with uh, people who have seen those movies before. Um, haven't decided on which one is next, but we will let you all know. Um, so please let us know what you thought of the show in the comments, what you thought of Saltburn, what you thought of our reactions. Hit uh, that subscribe button, of course, on the channel so you can see more videos just like this. And for everyone here at POV, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you all and have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye.